Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and here's a question. If individuals 5 and 6 had another child, what is the probability of being affected? So here's a couple number 5 and 6 people and here's the children and what is the probability that the next child would be affected just like this child? In order to solve this problem and give an answer, first we have to find the mode of inheritance of this genetic disorder and then we can do our calculations. Let's assume that this is mitochondrial genetic disorder. If this would be mitochondrial genetic disorder, none of the children of this couple would be affected because male for mitochondrial genetic disorder would be like a dead end. Mitochondrial genetic disorders would be passed from mother to all 100% of her progeny. So we would see, for example, mother affected and all her children. But if father affected, none of his children would be affected. And again, if it is, would be mitochondrial genetic disorder, then in this case, mother of individual number five, individual number two have to be affected. Now let's suppose that this is Y chromosome linked genetic disorder and this affected individual just passed Y chromosome to his son and he's affected. But in this case, he also would pass this defective Y chromosome to this son and this son also have to be affected. So if a person male has defective Y chromosome, all his male progeny are going to be affected. And this is something we do not see here and also Y chromosome this person got from his father. So his father also have to be affected. Even if we propose that this is de novo mutation, still this person have to pass it to his other son. Now let's suppose that this is X-linked genetic disorder. Again, from father to son only Y chromosome is passed and not X chromosome. So this is not X-linked dominant genetic disorder, nor recessive X-linked genetic disorder. Now let's assume that this is autosomal dominant genetic disorder and this male here just have dominant allele. Again, such genetic disorders doesn't skip generations and this person have to get this dominant allele from one of his parents and we see that none of his parents are affected. So this is not autosomal dominant genetic disorder, but autosomal recessive genetic disorder. And genotype of this person have to be homozygous recessive and his wife have to be heterozygous. So have to have one dominant allele, one recessive. In this case, her phenotype would be normal, but the son may get two defective alleles one from his father's side and another from his mother's side and also would be affected. And as you see, his siblings got from the mother's side dominant allele A and from the father's side they only can get recessive allele A. So we know for sure that all of them are obligate heterozygous. If we know that father has genotype which is small a small a, mother has genotype capital A small a, we can build simple Punnett square and we can find the probability in this family to get affected child. So capital A small a here, small a small a small a small a here. As you see, chances are 50% that their progeny would be affected with this genetic disorder and 50% chances that they are going to be unaffected. So our answer is going to be one half or 50% probability that the next child of this couple is going to be affected. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.